live Thursday afternoon, Owasco RV, 570 Rundle Road. Uh, welcome today. Today we're going to feature our Whitehawk 30 FLS. Uh, we got it in here just in the nick of time because uh, we never even had a chance to clean it up. But we wanted to show it off today to you. Um, want to go over it a little bit with you guys if we are um, ready to go, Craig? He said he's ready to go. So, first of all, this beautiful trailer is uh, one of Jayco's upper models. So, we have the J Flight, J Flight SLX, J Fetter, and then the White Hawk. Um, and then they have the Eagle after that. So, you'll notice this beautiful one piece front cap on here with an automotive type windshield. Okay, so. In this unit, because it's a front living room, we can actually look out over the lake. We can see uh, as far as we want. Just imagine yourself on a nice campground and you can actually check uh, the lake or the beach or wherever you are. We have a power tongue jack. It comes with standard 230 pound propane tanks. And of course we put a battery on it for you so that you can even do dry camping just in case there's no campsites available. So maybe we'll go around this side here, Greg. You'll notice that this unit comes with two large slides. So when we put a slide in the unit, we don't use cables and pulleys. Jayco uses a what's called a power gear slide and a Swintec slide. So the power gear slide, very reliable. So you never get any problems with cables coming off or pulleys or anything like that. Uh, it's absolutely incredible the way they work. They're fully adjustable. They have three seals on them. They have a seal double bulb seal and a swipe seal on here as well. So when you bring the slide in, even during a rainstorm, what's happening, it actually sweeps all the water off. And the other thing that's really nice about this, this has a flush floor inside the unit. So there's no step up, which gives you a higher clearance right in the slide out as well. So as we carry on, you'll notice that these walls, they're actually a gel coat wall. So they're nice, high, shiny walls. They're vacuum laminated. And I think we talked about this before in previous units, but vacuum laminating means that they put them in a press, 144 tons of pressure, and they suck kind of basically all the air out of it. So uh, you have to kind of look at it as a steak that you put in your freezer, uh, a steak, but you put it in the freezer without vacuum wrapping it. Uh, we all know what they look like after a couple of months. But this one here uh, is basically vacuum wrapped, 144 tons of pressure, for 16 minutes, the minute that this comes, <laughs> the minute that this comes out of the uh, of the oven, I was going to say, but the minute it comes out of the press, and we're ready to take these windows out. When they do take these windows out, they actually do a, uh, a ply test, uh, a test to see that you have full 100% adherence uh, to the uh, fiberglass, so that when the trailer gets older, we've all seen these trailers on the side of the road where you have the big bubbles on the side. That won't happen here. Now the other thing is. Jayco vacuum bonds this part as well. A lot of the units give you a loose lay on here, but we actually vacuum bond our slides, our side of our slides, our back wall, and we insulate this whole unit as well. So with uh, the slide out has astrofoil insulation in it as well. So the astrofoil insulation in the slide itself has an R15 rating for insulation. So this unit has what's called the glacier package. Now, I wouldn't take it on a glacier, okay? I wouldn't take it uh, like the Polar Bear Express kind of, but uh, what these units are good for, it keeps it cooler in the, in the summer and warmer in, in the fall. So you can extend your camping season just a little bit. Your floors are not going to get too cold. It's still no good for winter. Like, I don't know if anybody, some people come here and say, you know what, I have a four-season trailer that I just bought. Well, there is no such thing in Canada, a four-season trailer. You need to buy a mobile home at that point. Four season trailer, if people tell me it's a four season trailer, I said, have them put it in writing. And if anything breaks, you know what? Get them to pay for it. All right, so these windows right here, they're a flush window. Okay, they're frameless. So the advantage to frameless windows is that you don't have that rubber around it and it's not gonna crack, these stay nice. The other advantage is that they'll actually pop out and they're awning windows so that you don't have, uh, you can leave them open when it rains, like, which is the advantage right there. All right, the wheels, I don't know if Craig can focus in on this. Whenever drivers bring the trailers here, they love bringing the White Hawks. Every single one sells us all the time. We love towing the White Hawks. The difference being, most trailers, you get the wheels side by side right here. 
with the wide stance axle, the Dexter axle in this case, um, you have a better ride and handling. You don't have that binding going across the road. Um, it, it just handles better than any other unit. You'll notice that the marker lights right here, it has lots of marker lights on the side. Jayco has what's called J Smart Lighting. Um, that stands for safety markers and backup lights. It's exclusive to Jayco. Nobody else has it. So what it does is when you hit your blinker on the 401, you have like this, a 30-foot trailer. People don't know that you're going to change lanes. These start blinking as well. Okay. When we want to reverse this trailer, it'll also have backup lights as well. Outside shower, we want to give the neighbors a thrill. This is where to do it. Okay. Uh, we have a city water connection and we have a black water tank flush. That means that if you empty it out, you finish camping, you don't want to put chemicals in it, hook a hose up to here and drain it. There you go, and flush it out. This here is a Schwintex slide. They're a computerized slide. Okay, on the smaller slides, Jacob will use that Schwintex or the in-wall slide. What happens here is computerized. It's completely coming out straight all the time and very, very reliable. Again, much better than cables and pulleys. All right, carry on. Hey, Brian. All right. So we have a bit of storage on this trailer. So most trailers you'll find that it has the beds in the front and you'll get a ton more storage on the outside because under the bed, it'll have the storage. These ones here are um, basically at the back on this one under the sofa, we have the storage. Now you'll notice as well that we don't have to clip these units in. Okay. So when we open this up, we have a magnetic catch. They went to that on 2021 models, even on our J flights we have these magnetic catches. So there's no more plastic catches that get old and brittle and they break. So easy to do, okay? Easy to open, open and close. All right, LED taillights, spare tire, Goodyear tires on this unit. Goodyear tires come with a six year warranty. Okay, our wheel wells are stainless steel wheel wells on this unit. So not plastic, they're not um, fabric. So some of the stainless steel wheel wells, if you ever happen to have a blowout, it would not damage the trailer on the inside, so easy to replace. We have hookup for a barbecue right here, optional on most trailers, J flight and up. Okay, we have a ladder. Okay, so if you go to a NASCAR race or you go, you know, uh, to an air show or anything like that, or for maintenance or to clean off your slides, uh, it's a fully walkable roof, holds 4,500 pounds, strongest roof in the industry. Uh, I have a picture actually of a J flight on my desk. I was going to bring it, but I didn't. But it was in a tornado and the thing landed upside down. Actually, it didn't even buckle like it did. The roof stayed 100% intact. All right, we have a little bit more storage. And we have our friend Bruno here who's all dressed up for St. Patty's Day, ready to go. Uh, so again, a little bit of more storage. We have our four jacks, one on each corner for stabilization. You'll notice that this thing has absolutely huge, huge awning, okay? so. Jayco always tries to maximize the awning space on the campsite. So they don't save the money to go to a shorter awning. Beautiful, nice awning, LED lights above the awning as well. And uh, the awnings are all adjustable for pitch as well. So as we go up here, you'll notice that I can just pull on this and the awning will come down on one end to have the water run off. I still ask people, my customers always to, they go to the beach or you see a bad storm coming, you want to make sure that uh, okay, here you go, Bruno. You want to make sure that uh, that the awning's in because this is a sail, right? So what's going to happen? You have one of those black skies coming. You're at the beach enjoying yourself. All of a sudden, you see this huge storm coming, and you can't make it to the trailer in time. What's going to happen? The wind comes here and it lands on the other side. We see it all too often. So I always ask people, you know what? If you're going to leave your trailer for longer periods of time, put that awning in. All right. So we have a door to the bedroom. Okay, why is that important, people ask me. Well, you know, you never know when your husband comes home. So you want to make sure that he can get out before That's he comes home, right? Yeah. Isn't that the truth, Greg? It could be the other way around. You never know, around, right? right? All right. So then on the outside here, we have a little TV bracket, right? So in the bedroom is a similar bracket. You do get the bracket with it. And uh, what happens is you can take the TV bracket from the bedroom Hang it on the outside, watch the game outside, watch a movie with the kids. Um, several White Hawk models available. This happens to be a couple's unit, 
but you know what? We do have uh, bunk units available in the White Hawk as well. All right. Um, that's basically done. You see some of the nice accessories that are available in our parts department. We have wine glasses. Uh, we have tote bags. We have um, uh, laundry hampers. These chairs are absolutely awesome. I got, like, honestly, I got two of these chairs, and I got a sofa, and I got this table. So when we go, it looks like a living room, like when we go. So uh, towel hangers that just clip to the side of your trailer. So lots of stuff available in our parts department. Uh, uh, they're stocked up right now. So when you buy a trailer here, you get 20% off any of the parts that uh, that you purchase in our parts store on your first purchase. After that, it's 10% each and every time. All right, you'll notice the nice step, which is unfortunately not clean yet, but like I said, we just put this in here last minute just to, just to showcase it. But the step just folds right into the door, okay? And um, I don't know, some of the folks that buy a couple's trailer or a little older, or you know, have bad hips and knees, you get this big nice wrap handle and Away you go. So here we go. Let's have a look inside. <clears throat> now, as I said, this is a couple's trailer. And uh, last couple of weeks, we've been actually promoting uh, shop local, buy local. So today, uh, we want to showcase uh, this beautiful flower arrangement here that we got from uh, Van Bell Flowers right here in town. Yeah, we thought, you know what? It's spring. Let's bring a little spring inside. Like, looks absolutely gorgeous in the trailer. Um, also, today is a national day of kind of reflection and all the people that we lost uh, for COVID. So we want to kind of remember, you know, all those people as well. Um, and, you know, our frontline workers, like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because without you guys, you know, what things would have been a lot worse. So uh, we want to reflect on that a little bit. It's been a year, but uh, we so appreciate it at Owasco. Uh, we offer... Uh, frontline staff discounts as well in all our trailers. So uh, please, you know, contact us. We, we're very grateful, very thankful for you guys. All right, right in the front here, we have we have a sofa that folds out to a full queen bed. You'll notice the nice little blue lights, okay, for romantic getaways, okay? And we can also have it as a reading light as well. There you go. Here's another one right there. We have a fireplace. I show those flowers again, Craig. You know what? I'm going to bring these home tonight. And you know what's going to happen, eh? They're like, we don't have any food this week, yeah, but you know what? We might as well. You ate the wings too. I, so you might as well take the flowers. <laughs> taking the flowers home. And uh, I think we're going to have a good night tonight. <laughs> Keep that mood light with you then. Exactly. So here we have uh, television. Comes with, we just hadn't had a chance to put it in, but it comes with a 40 inch television, comes with a fireplace, uh, DVD, AM, FM stereo, outside speakers. So fully, fully equipped. You'll also notice in the roof here that the roof is kind of curved and it has a skylight. So that gives you lots of natural light during the day. And uh, so you don't even need to have your lights on. All lights are LED. We have a three burner stove. We have an oven, has nice fancy blue knob knobs in here. So again, for night light. Now this bathroom is actually nicer than I have at home. Um, we have a six cubic foot fridge, sorry. Six cubic foot fridge, separate freezer. Lots of space to keep all your drinks in and some food, of course. Pantry, you'll notice that it has a couple of pull-out drawers here as well for anything you need. All these cabinets are Amish built, guys. They are hardwood built, and I always get people to feel behind here. It's screwed and glued. Everything is screwed and glued. Our floor is plywood on this. Our roof is a magnum truss roof system. Again, holds 4,500 pounds. Our Countertops are seamless, so you don't get any seams in it. You don't have the edging fall away. We have flip-up countertops that come with this unit. It's like, you know, it's like a home really in here. So as you go through the bathroom, it has two sliding doors that give you privacy. And I'll get Craig to take this in for a minute because there's some fancy blue lighting going on in here. This has a double sink. I don't even have a double sink at home. Like I have to share my wife's sink or basically she shares mine sometimes. Again, we have a sliding door in here, and it's real solid wood. Like, if you look at this, like, it's honestly, it's absolutely gorgeously finished. Full stand-up shower, and a china toilet, and a linen closet. 
Now, Jayco actually puts underneath these shower bases, they actually built a plywood base so that you don't have uh, the foam cracking like some of the other trailers that we see. We see that a lot on used trailers that we get in. Uh, we see that the foam actually cracks under people's legs because the people are a little heavier and then stand in there and then what happens is the, the plastic or the ABS cracks and you can't fix that. Really hard to fix in a trailer. So Jayco builds the plywood platform. You can dance in there all day long. Uh, you can get two people in there if you're not as big as me. There you go. So then the bedroom. This bedroom has a king size bed. Lots of lighting. Comes with a fan. Okay, in the in the bedroom as well. Uh, air conditioning is ducted throughout this unit. The ducts can be uh, opened or closed, and it can actually be moved. So again, most trailers will give you the ducts, but you won't be able to direct the air. So if something blows in your neck, you are unable to adjust that. So that TV bracket would go here. Okay, again, lots of storage in this bedroom. You can see, okay, there's a her and her closet. Uh, we get to put our clothes usually in a plastic bag somewhere under this bed. But you know what? Why not? It's got lots of storage under the bed as well. There's a barbecue that comes with this unit. But look at the storage that you're going to get. It's absolutely incredible. USB beside the bed as well. So you can charge your phone right here. Uh, you have little shelves. Uh, not that you need an alarm clock, but for those people that like to have some water when they're sleeping. Uh, CPAP machine. CPAP machine can plug plugged in right there. Uh, all this bedding that you see, that's not just for show, that actually comes with it. Jacob provides the pillows, they provide the bedspread, the little decorative pillow right there. So, White Hawk, upscale, beautiful unit. Pricing usually in the, um, this one here, what, Craig, what is it? 40, 46.9. 46.9. 183 bi weekly. 183 bi weekly. So, uh, White Hawk runs anywhere from forty-five to fifty-five thousand um, dollars. One step up from this would be the Eagle. However, if you look at Jayco, we have Jayco SLX uh, in the twenties, uh, J Flight late twenties to, to early thirties, high thirties. Step in the White Hawk and then step in the Eagle. So lots of choice. Um, come and see us. Five seventy Rental Road, fourteen service base, uh, forty-one acres. Uh, not full of product right now. We're just kind of scrambling a little bit. But you know what, do give us a call. Uh, we can order for you. Uh, we're still getting stuff in for spring at this moment. Uh, so if you order now, you're still gonna be camping this summer. Don't wait because uh, another four or five weeks from now, uh, we're done uh, for, for the year. So uh, looking forward to meeting you, looking forward to seeing you. Uh, Dutchie signing off. Craig, thank you very much. Adios. Have a great day.